She is the queen of pathology and she really knows everything when it comes to diseases or deaths of animals. And now I'm really curious to get to know more. Please welcome Dr. Vanessa Herda. Hi, Vanessa. Nice to have you here. Thank you so much. It's amazing to be here. Thank you. So before we would like to know more about your profession, tell us why do you have the title Queen of Pathology? Yeah, in the team I work, we all have nicknames. So um, that's a short version of our expertise or our niche. And because we like our work and we are dealing with an yeah, intense topic with the diseases and death, um, we want to see um, what is positive in this. What can we learn for life from this? And that's why we always take also nicknames to make our work enjoyable. That you really love your job. I can totally feel that. Is that the reason why you already also uh, wrote a book? Yes, this is one reason. Um, for many people, diseases and death is a very difficult uh, topic. And um, I want to share what I learned from diseases and death, in my case of animals, um, about life. This is a really important yeah, topic for me to talk about that we learn from diseases about the beauty of life. And uh, this is one aspect I shared in the, in the book. This is all stories, um, yeah, which I um, had during my studies, during my PhD, or also after from my research. So it covers a broad spectrum about animals, their diseases, and most importantly, also about the people who are involved. So this can be the owner, this can be anyone. Mm -hmm. um, and this is a very important aspect to see um, us with our animals as one unit, as one health. So being also a researcher, you're totally used to um, publishing different publications. But why now a book? Um, that's interesting. Um, I wanted to show the broad spectrum of veterinary medicine, especially in my niche, the pathology. It's um, Some of the um, chapters in this book are also about the research. So I wanted to show what is the research I as a veterinary pathologist contribute to society, to the knowledge in general, However, also the emotional aspects of having animals uh, which are diseased. So what is with the owner? And um, th these are all the aspects because people said, Vanessa, that's really interesting what you, um, uh, yeah, what stories you had during your uh, career, basically. And that's why I thought I want to write them down. And I met one person uh, who was actually the final person who helped me to get it started. Well, wow, great. And I mean, it's a word that is often hidden from society. And you now give some more insights. But could you tell us why you love your job so much? Yes, for me, it's the most important um, to interact with the owners, usually the owners, or if people dealing with diseases of their animals, they are desperate. And I'm saying this because I was in this situation. I was the desperate um, owner of an animal who would have been done anything to cure the animal. And I know how it feels when you don't know exactly what is happening and you want to solve the problem. You're willing to do everything. So, and I realized in my job, when I can help people to understand what kind of diseases their animals have, um, that they can decide based on their personal decision what way they want to go. I give you an example. One of my friends recently was desperate because her cat is quite old and she had um, an inflammation in the lower urinary tract. So she could see blood in the urine. And then she was, oh my God, I don't understand. What, what is it? And we discussed step by step what options are there. Um, and I helped her to understand which is the best way to choose, which is the best method. Mm -hmm. And that took away fear and anxiety from her and she could make her own decision. I didn't tell her what to do. I just helped her to understand what could be there. And she made her decision to find the best solution for her. In her case, it was a real cat. Wow, but what a great purpose that you have with your job. Um, so please tell us, I mean, I know many girls and their dream job is becoming a veterinarian, but not an animal pathologist. <laughs> so how, how did it come that you decided to take that work path? Uh, I'm one of these girls. <laughs> so I was a classic house girl. I'm still. Uh, that's why I studied veterinary medicine, because I wanted to be the vet who uh, can help with the diseases. And then I had my first lecture in pathology and saw tissues and organs under the microscope. And this was the day when I knew, okay, I'm not treating any horses. I'm doing pathology. The beauty of organs under the microscope is my thing. And that's why I deviated from the idea of becoming a clinical vet. 
But to make it clear, is it always about diseases and about dead animals? Um, this is one aspect of the world uh, of the work. And as the other aspect is the research, which is the most exciting to find something new and to com contribute knowledge to the diseases. This is what I do at the moment full time. Wow, it's so exciting and I cannot wait to read in your book and to really um, have an insight about your daily work routine. Can you tell us where ca can I get more information about the book? Um, hopefully the book will be out in a couple of weeks and then I will share it on my homepage. You can find it under vanessa-herda.com and then you can find all the information about the book there. And so thank you so much and good luck for your, uh, for your book. Thank you so much.